But first, breaking tonight at 6, we are learning more about the deadly house explosion in Ballantyne. We have identified the most likely cause as an interior gas leak. Knowing our investigative task force, I feel fairly confident that they will be able to figure out the details of this. Yeah, so you heard it there. Fire investigators say a gas leak inside the home is what caused the explosion. That blast killing one woman inside. Authorities have identified her as 58-year-old Rania Karam. So last night, crews found her body after hours of searching through all of the debris. Rescuers were able to pull her husband, Dr. Jabron Karam, from the rubble. He was the one who actually called 911. He was rushed to the hospital by a helicopter and is still recovering. Now authorities have turned their attention on cleaning up the millions of dollars worth of damage and investigating what caused the leak. They say they're certain they'll figure out what happened. Our Nathan Morabito has been looking into the severity of gas leaks, the worst case scenarios, and what usually causes them. He joins us now with what he found. This is so scary, Nathan. Oh, it really is, and it's hard to believe an accidental natural gas leak linked to a household appliance could cause all of this, but it's actually not that uncommon. And firefighters say we need to be more aware about the natural gas that's running through our homes. The whole house shook. We felt like a bomb went off. How is it possible this home was here one minute? It sounded like someone put like a gun next to your head and shot it. It felt as if our house had exploded. The whole house just shut. And obliterated the next, leaving a woman dead and her husband injured. We have identified the most likely cause as an interior gas leak. We still have some work to do, so the investigation is ongoing. The preliminary investigation answered the first part of that question late Wednesday. Our main witness has no idea what happened. Firefighters don't know what sparked the explosion, but they believe natural gas fueled what they're calling an accident, telling us the survivor smelled an odor shortly before. Investigators say you shouldn't be overly concerned about your home, but should take precautions, regularly maintaining your household appliances, and not taking any chances if you ever smell gas. There's a reason that there's an odor added to those to resources like natural gas is to let you know if you smell that, that there potentially is an issue. Charlotte's not the first city to experience this and likely won't be the last. These uh, types of events do happen, uh, I think, more commonly than people know. Just a day before this explosion, a home in Georgia exploded. Last month, an explosion in New Jersey leveled the home. In May, another explosion, this one deadly in Indiana, damaging more than a dozen houses nearby. Someone else died in March in Colorado, and yet another death in February in Minnesota. When you have an explosion like this, natural gas or propane, it's you know something to do with you know faulty equipment. Natural gas or propane. In the explosions where investigators determine or predicted a cause, they blamed either natural gas or propane. And this isn't even the first explosion like this in Charlotte. There was one back in 2008. Fire crews say people actually died in that explosion as well. But the damage was more isolated than it is in this one. This one, of course, damaging so many homes in the nearby area, causing right now the estimate $5 million worth of damages. Reporting live, Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte. Unbelievable. So, yeah, so scary and a good warning, Nate. Thank you.